So why do we need a local area plan for Banlaslow? Well, according to the last census in 2016, we have 6,659 people living here. And, you know, most of them more than likely were, yeah, probably born right here. Um, according to estimates, Banlaslow is going to be a key town. So that's in the RSES strategy, so the regional and economic strategy for the Northwest. Banlaslow is one of the key towns. 1,999 more people are expected to be living here over the next number of years. And in order for us to plan for that, well, there's going to be more people coming through the hospital, but also we need housing, services, amenities. That's why we need your input into the local area plan uh, for the next six years. So we're down here around by Tesco and we're going to see a lot more development around here, guys, because the area behind me here, this is going to be developed with housing units. We're going to see over 70 units and construction will start in the next number of weeks. And it's a mix, you know, between affordable and social. But in the local area plan, we need even more housing, especially if we're going to have an extra 2,000 people roughly living in Banlaslow. Um, in order to do that, it's under the local area plan. Have a look at the zoning. The yellow areas with a red border around them, that's the areas that are going to be developed. And we're going to be looking at over 845 units plus another 300. And it's all types of housing. Uh, and it's really important that we see this happen for our town because we want to see our town getting bigger. Um, we're also going to be seeing at right here our wonderful five screen cinema that will be opening up hopefully by the end of autumn. Right now, totally vacant site, but we will be seeing this as a real development for our town and investment in our town. We're also gonna be looking at a road that's going to open up around the back of this area here. It's hopefully to connect to the back of Brackenia and into our pitches and done a running track. But guys, this all happens because of planning permission and zoned areas. We're having our cinema here because this was zoned commercial and mixed use and we really welcome it. But what else do you want to see in the next six years? In the local transport plan, we're looking about how we open up our town and how we can develop it further. And the area behind Main Street and Society Street connecting from behind Galans, linking in with the development of our new school, Skull and Crenefa, um, will be absolutely phenomenal because it would open up the back of the River Suck and allow so much more like a park there uh, for us to enjoy, as well as opening up the river for the community and for our town and visitors as well. Uh, this would be really important. And what do you think about this in our local area plan? So guys, we're out here at the motorway, Dublin to Galway, and this is the line for the local area plan. Everything inside of that line is the local area plan for Banlaslow. Out here, this is the area that is covered by the Galway County Development Plan. We don't have a park in Banlaslow, but this area is an area that's marked down for consideration to be protected in the Galway County Development Plan. And we need to make sure, we've been fighting under Banlaslow says no for clean air in our towns and to protecting our environment. And this is crucial under the RSES. But we also need to develop our green spaces in the middle of town. How do we develop and promote the fair green? Link in, Schlina Howen. How do we look at the park out in St. Bridget's and develop green spaces for walking and cycling in our town? What do you think? St. Bridget's is a wonderful campus and we need to make sure that it's protected. It is a wonderful piece of heritage in Banlaslow and it could be developed. There are so many opportunities, be it residential, commercial, it could even be an educational campus. We know that there, it is a treasure here in Banlaslow. Hayden's Hotel has been listed as a priority opportunity for Banlaslow. Uh, it's an area in the local area plan that's listed. So in other words, Galway County Council will encourage development of this particular zone for the benefit of the town of Banlaslow. We know that Hayden's Hotel was an absolutely iconic place for so many generations and for so many people around the country. This could now come alive again. What do you think? So in the local area plan, you'll see in dark purple, that is the industrial zone. And that's out here in Pulboy. And we have great businesses that are bringing jobs and employment to our area. What else do we want to see in our local area plan? Guys, we're out down here at Banlaslow train station and the local transport plan is all about connectivity. So it's all about when people come into Banlaslow by the train service, is there a safe place if they wanted to cycle from here into town? Um, is there connectivity in terms of buses? We have now TFI, the local link, that's bringing people from the train station to Port Yonkla Hospital, out to Lawrence Town, out to Aircourt, on to Pertumna. We need more services like that, connected thinking. And that's in the transport plan for Banlaslow. We need to see cycleways, walkways, safe places to walk, and also accessibility. So in other words, do have a look at the plan because there are, there are initiatives and projects in there for each section in Banlaslow.